The Bullock Academy segment is brought to you by R.J. Pope's Men's and Ladies Apparel and Anderson's General Store. We are feeling fall at R.J. Pope's Men's and Ladies Apparel. With the largest selection of Georgia Southern and University of Georgia game day apparel, we make sure you're dressed to win at tailgating. When you're not cheering on your favorite team, we have your style covered. From blazers to AFCO shorts to dresses and heels, R.J. Pope is your one-stop shop. Newsflash, stay tuned for the new, improved, and expanded R.J. Pope's men's and ladies this fall. Shop local, shop R.J. Pope online and in store at our three locations. And welcome to the Bullock Academy Coaches Show. I'm Josh Aubrey being joined by Bullock Academy Head Coach and Athletic Director Pat Collins. And Coach, you guys are coming off first win of the season and the first game of the season. A big crowd on hand there at Paulson Stadium as you guys kicked off the Irk Russell Classic. First off, you know, your thoughts on getting the season underway and coming out with a big victory, 42-8 to eight over Pinewood. Well, Josh, um, as you mentioned, it was a big crowd, and uh, we were excited about the whole day. Uh, most importantly, we felt like that our team played well. Um, there, there's still plenty of growth areas. There's a lot of mistakes that were made, but uh, when you can prevail against your rival in the opening game on that stage, it's a good day for Bulk Academy. Let's go through, first off, the offensive side of the ball. You had Don Aaron missing all but two plays of the game with a hamstring issue. So you had to put in Fisher Oglesby there at quarterback. It looked like he did a pretty solid job in relief. Well, Fisher uh, did, did do a great job managing the situation. Um, it, it was a obviously a big stage for anybody, for Fisher, for Don, for anybody. And uh, he came in and, and uh, did exactly what we asked him to do throughout the game. And, and um, he's to be commended for, for how he just stepped up to the plate. And I guess the good news is you were able to get Don in for a couple of plays. Didn't look like anybody touched him out there. And uh, he was even able to throw a touchdown pass to his brother, Will. Uh, well, it, it, you know, we wanted to try to get him in a couple of plays where we could and when an opportunity presented itself because uh, he's worked so hard to be the team leader and, and uh, is a team leader. And I just felt like he deserved that. Now, I did. I will tell you, Josh, I threatened the lineman. I said, if, if anything happens to him, I'm personally going to hold you responsible. Uh, but we were glad to get him in, and, and um, I'm, uh, you know, elated he didn't get hurt again. Your running game, you start right off. We see a new face. Uh, Rodney Hill scores a touchdown, and then you also have Ty Mingle, who rushed for over 150 yards and three touchdowns today. Well, Josh, it starts up front with the line of scrimmage. I thought our line of scrimmage uh, really controlled the game from the offensive line standpoint. Uh, those backs are, are recipients of that, and I think they would be the first to tell you the backs that um, – you know, without the line of scrimmage, that their their day would have been a lot rougher. Um, Rodney has tremendous balance and and um, he's very talented. His his tracks were not correct. His tracks were, were quite frankly bad at times. And and um, but we we saw flashes of of what he can become with the especially with the balance that he has. It's just tremendous. So the play he made down the left sideline where he broke a couple of tackles and was able to spin out of uh, of another and, and maintain perfect balance. Um, I think that, that kind of lets you know what kind of special player he's going to be. And, you know, Ty Mingle was the workhorse all day. And, and um, you know, as you well know, Josh, you've covered me before, I don't mind handing the football to the same person over and over. And, uh, um, you know, he, he did well. Well, let's flip over to the defensive side of the ball. You cause a turnover early in the game that results in a touchdown. You get an interception late in uh, the game that ends up being a touchdown as well. Overall, how did you feel like the defense did? Well, I, I thought we, we were kind of feeling our way around early and, and uh, just a little bit hesitant and tentative. But all of a sudden, the guys just let loose and started playing. And, and um, I thought the longer we played, the better our, our, our defensive effort got. I was uh, very, very pleased. Um, um, Forcing two turnovers and setting up scores for with two turnovers, I think, is uh, you know a very good indicator of, of how we should operate this season. All right, well, coach, you got a big game coming up here on Friday. It's your home opener. You got Edmund Burke coming to call. It's their first game for you guys. You're able to see a little bit. Uh, they say you make the most improvement between the first game and the second game. Do you feel like that's the case so far this week? Well, we hope so. We're going to need it to be the the case. Um, Josh, before I go with Edmund Burke, I want to back up to one thing that you always ask me about. It's the kicking okay. game. Okay, yes. And, um, you know, uh, we, we do a little field position chart each day, and, and uh, our Gators were 89% on, on the 
positive side of that field position chart. And uh, I think our kicking game, punting and place kicking, really had a, a just a tremendous bearing on that. It set up set up a lot of opportunities for our offense. So, yeah. moving forward to what you said about Edmund Burke, uh, uh, it will be their season opener. They're going to be very excited. Um, uh, they're a senior laden team. Uh, they're led by their great fullback Collier Smith. He's six one two twenty, and and um, you know they remind me, Josh, of of how we approach things at Southeast Bullock when I was actually down the road. A few years back, uh, real tough with the line of scrimmage, going to establish an internal running game and try to, you know, three and four yards just slam to death. And, and uh, we, it's going to be a short game. They're going to run it, we're going to run it, and um, you got to take advantage of possessions. And uh, a turnover along the way is probably going to be the difference in the football game. I'm assuming the game plan is going to be fairly similar to what it was last week. Uh, I would assume Fisher's going to probably still be at the helm as you try to get Don ready for the games that really matter in the region games. Um, and I imagine you're going to try to do some of the same as you did last week. Well, we are. We, we have several things that obviously have we, we've not shown. And, and uh, you mentioned the personnel. We take, we're taking the personnel day by day and, and uh, just, you know, we're, we're watching closely to see how, how Don recovers from that injury. Um, but it, again, uh, Edmund Burke's a fine football team, and, and um, they're going to be a tremendous challenge when they come in, in this Friday night. All right, that's Coach Collins. Stay with us. Coming up next, we'll hear from a couple of Gator players. Friday night lights to early morning deer stands. Anderson's General Store in Statesboro is your tailgating and hunting headquarters. Boots from Ariat, Georgia Boot, Irish Setter, Wolverine, and more. We have a pair for you. Check out our Costa and Ray-Ban sunglasses. And apparel from Columbia, Carhartt, and Drake. Dove, ducks, deer, we have all your hunting needs. And tailgate with a big green egg or Traeger grill. Pack in the flavor with delicious sauces and rubs. Haul it all home with a utility trailer. Anderson's General Store, a general store and so much more. 